And if you feel like sending emails that say nothing but drum mag or continuous VD mag, go ahead and just spam that box with it because I know that's what's about to happen. Hey everybody, Patrick here with Rap Force, February 17th, 2014, and this is Monday Night Paintball. Behind the camera is my buddy Jason Furt. Today we're going to banter back and forth as we go over paintball news worldwide. Speaking of news, there's going to be a pretty cool uh, scenario going on in Ontario, for those of you uh, north of the Canadian-American border. This one's called Operation Guardian. It's being put on by Tier 1 Scenarios. This is a company that's been around for a couple of years now. This is actually the second event in a series. Uh, the, the previous one was in 2013. It was known as Operation Praetorian. So uh, the last one was a pretty big success. This one's going to be even bigger. Uh, this one is going down at PRZ Paintball in Picton, Ontario. So if you are in the area, go ahead and check it out. We'll put a link to the Facebook um, event page in the uh, video description as well as um, on our Facebook page if you want to check it out. Next up we got the marker of the week. This one is coming to us from Germany. This is an MK5 with a UMP shroud on it. Is uh, that correct? Looks to be a UMP shroud. Um, yeah. And that angled foregrip, that looks like something off a of die dam, doesn't it? Yeah, that, I think that is actually the, uh, the die dam's uh, AFG on there. Um, it really looks clean on there. Um, Looks like it's a really nice uh, mod job, though. He, he looks like they had to put a lot of time into it and cleaned it up. Um, yeah, this was uh, Rich from uh, from Germany. He says, uh, "Hello, this is my MK5. I'm from Germany, uh, Leipzig, and I'm a part of the German paintball team Desert Rats LE. Best wishes from Germany." Yeah, so. awesome marker. Um, hopefully, we can see it in action at some point. So, if you got some video, feel free to send it or post that to the Facebook page. So we can take very it. cool paint job. Very good job on the paint job. That looks clean. Good stuff. Cool. Thanks for the photo, Rich. And moving on, we're going to do our field of the week. This is Tag Paintball in Hollister, California. This was the site of Operation End War 1 and 2. It's a pretty cool field. Yeah, it's uh, actually my home field and the, uh, the home field of my team. Um, we all meet up here and play probably about once a month and get, you know, I just have a good old time together. Bunch of different fields, a bunch of different style fields from a, you know, a CQB made with containers all the way up to, you know, a more of a speedball style field. Always fun and, um, just a good crowd that's always there. Um, so definitely if you guys get the chance, check it out. Uh, you guys probably have a pretty good time. And uh, hopefully I'll see you guys out there when I'm out there playing. Very cool. They got these like really big ditches dug into it. So it's a being like trench warfare in some of the fields it looks like. Yep. Um, and I'm, we've, all, we've been we're constantly updating and changing the fields over there. So it's, it's a lot of fun. A lot of things change. Um, usually uh, if you haven't been there in a year, it's changed since then. Very cool field. If you are near Hollister, California, be sure to check it out. You might even get a chance to shoot fur tick. Wouldn't be the first time. <laughs> All right, next up for you guys, we got a few new products for you. Um, this is a brand new handguard that's hitting the catalog, and this is a photo right up right now of fur tick at a lockdown scenario. Uh, was it Red Dawn, right? Yeah, this was up over at uh, Red Dawn. This is uh, one of my 468 setups that I keep changing every event. Um, for those of you that have actually watched all the videos Patrick constantly makes, you will see that every time I'm in a video, I have a different upper on my 468. Um, this one has been the one I've stuck with the longest now. Um, it's using um, what we're going to be calling the Guardian um, handguard. And uh, actually, I think Patrick, you've got a couple of them uh, sitting there. We're going to be offering it in three different lengths. The longest being a 13 inch handguard. This is the longest. Um, and with that, it'll also have uh, rail accessories that mount right to it. We have a, a mid-size right there, which is 10 inch, which actually is the one I'm going to be uh, putting onto my marker. So I'm gonna probably change it up before the next event we attend. And then the last one is the eight inch. And that's the one that's currently on the 468 that you've seen in the picture. Um, it's a nice short handguard. It's really comfortable too. Um, and they'll be coming with some uh, rail mounts and stuff like that that'll be added onto it that aren't shown with uh, Patrick there. So these are made out of aluminum, so they, uh, they're they a lot lighter than they look. Um, looks like a lot of material, but it's pretty much weightless. It's pretty cool. Um, Fertig took one out. Um, you've seen this picture at Red Dawn as a, a prototype to see if we wanted to carry it. And he liked it so much that we decided to order a few for the catalog. So really cool if you want to uh, get kind of a futuristic look on your AR. And we also have brand new flip-up sights. Yeah, we have a new front and rear flip up. Um, these are the Rhino sights. They're uh, similar to how Magpuls are, except they got one really cool feature that I actually like is they still have the pistol sights on them when they are folded down. I like that. So you still have a sight picture you can use while, you're, uh, while your sights are flipped down. And it's a low profile, 
so it keeps it you know out of out of the way and stuff like that and you can actually you know e easily use them and see them and flip them up when you want the full sight and they, they just look at like an aggressive sight it's good stuff looking forward to uh, getting some pictures of these on some markers shipping these out seeing what you guys think of them yep. so uh stay tuned for more about our new flip up sights Here's a couple new 468 uppers for you as well that first I got to the catalog. This is the M16 full size. So this, uh, this upper receiver here has the M16 full size handguard on it with the classic A-frame uh, front sight post. And also to show you guys, this is the 468 CQB paintball marker. This is the one that went on the catalog last week. Yeah, you guys had a little bit to say about it in relation to the, uh, the cost of it and whatnot. Again, cost is based on the hardware that is put on the marker. So basically, if you were to go through the catalog and add each of those individual parts on, it would come out to a higher dollar value than what you are actually paying for the complete setup. So it's set up to be a, a nice, sleek, you know, compact marker, um, so you can get in and out of the building, play through the trees without any issue, and just you know have a good old time out in the field. Um, the rails are on there, so you can add on accessories that you want to the front of it, and uh, pretty much set it up to how you like it: vertical grip, AFG, whatever you want to use. Very cool. So uh, if you're looking for a really tight, compact uh, CQB package, check out the 468 CQB. All right, that's all I got for you. You got anything else? Uh, looks like that's pretty much everything for me. So guys, thanks for watching. Remember, Monday Night Paintball is your show and make from the content generated from our Facebook page. So if there's anything you'd like to see in next week's episode, just email Monday Night at Thanks for watching, and we'll see you out there.